Hey Scorpios, welcome to my channel, Ratchet Oracle 22. This is going to be your message for the month of June 2023. I hope this message finds you in peace, love, and prosperity. We're just going to get a good shuffle here and see what spirit has for us. June 20th is going to be significant for you, okay? I'm seeing the number 20, okay? Someone could be getting 20 years to life, okay? This is not for everybody. It's like every time I mention like someone going to jail, I always get these comments like weird comments like, oh, I don't know nobody that's going to jail. Well, then that message is not for you. That part doesn't resonate for, with you, okay? But I'm seeing 20 here. I'm also seeing February 20th. So somebody may need to go back to February 20th or someone could be dealing with a Pisces, okay? That's Pisces season. Scorpio, you could be dealing with a Pisces or you're going through a spiritual awakening. Pisces roots a spiritual awakening, okay? Someone could be eating fish. Pisces is the two fish. And I'm seeing the number 20, which is fish. Two twin flames, two soulmates, okay? 20 days from now, you're going to have a message. So if today is the 4th, on the 24th, you're going to receive some type of message about something. Someone could find out that they're pregnant with twins, okay? Because uh, February 20th is 2.20. So June 22nd as well. June 20th through the 24th is going to be significant for you, Scorpio. Okay? June 20th through the 24th is going to be significant. Someone could be trying to save money. Trying to gather up their money. Get their money together for a move. Someone's trying to plan out their life or something. Okay? Mm, the color purple is significant, okay? Until you do right by me, okay? Someone feels cursed. Someone feels like there's a curse over their bloodline or a curse over their life. Mm. Yep, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Right now, you are in a chaotic situation. There's no stability. There's no security, okay? You're experiencing uh, financial problems, okay? Okay. Money is not there in the way that you would like it to be there, okay? You may be trying to manifest something, but you don't have the resources to manifest it this month. The devil card in reverse, okay? Someone's being tempted to do something that they have no business doing, possibly in order to get some money, okay? Or in order to find some stability and security, yeah, look at the ground bleeding in this Nine of Swords card. You're bleeding out. Leona Lewis. I keep bleeding. Someone could be dealing with the Leo. Leona, I'm seeing Leo. Leo, I'm seeing Lou. Lewd and lascivious acts. Yeah, someone uh, has some criminal activity going on here. Um, but someone could be making a choice or tempted to make a choice to do something because you feel like you need money that you don't have with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse this month, okay? So someone could be um, being tempted to do some type of scamming, conning, stealing, robbing, falsification of records, or just something you have no business doing, okay? It's not going to resonate with you all. Someone, if this is not a financial situation where you're feeling unstable, I feel like someone um, could be feeling unstable and insecure in terms of a relationship, okay? And someone's home is very chaotic, okay? And I feel like you could be tempted to step out and see what else is out there for you. If this is not you, this is the person that you're dealing with. But someone's definitely facing some type of temptation this month. With the Nine of Swords, you could be dealing with a Gemini or an air sign, okay? The the ground is bleeding. So the foundation, okay, is very rocky. I'm kind of getting an earthquake type energy. Um, what's that Jasmine Sullivan song? Hurricane, okay? Someone's name could be Jasmine. Someone could have a someone close to them named Jasmine. Um yeah, Jasmine Sullivan. It's like a hurricane. It's like a hurricane. The way you break my heart and now I'm stuck with the pain. Yeah. Someone has a tendency of hurting everybody that they come in contact with. And with the four of cups, it's because this person has been hurt. And 
they don't know how to let go of the hurt and the pain. So they go around hurting everybody else, okay? This is a cancer energy. Someone has mother issues, okay? With this being the moon card and the cancer card, the four of cups, okay? Someone's holding on to pain, holding on to emotions. And someone's also holding on to a past relationship or some past hurt. And it's hard for you to let go, okay? Someone could be dealing with a cancer or a Capricorn here. Or maybe even a Gemini. But I feel like um, things are rocky for you this month, um, Scorpio. You need to save money where you can. Yeah, the lack of patience is going to cause someone to do something that they have no business doing with the temperance card in reverse. And I feel like it's going to turn out to be a huge mistake, okay? If you fall for this temptation, Scorpio, you're going to find that it turns out to be a huge mistake. You're going to immediately be met with karma. So I feel like spirit is saying be patient. Yeah, the magician card in reverse, you're not manifesting right now or you're finding it hard to manifest. I feel like some of you are being blocked in terms of your finances or in terms of your manifestations, okay? Someone is definitely being blocked, okay? Someone could have, and I did say you felt cursed and the magician card could, some, especially in reverse, it could sometimes relate to black magic. So you could have did something to someone or somebody could just feel like you needed some type of karma. And someone could have done something, okay? Someone could have sent the evil eye your way. You have the um, the world card in reverse, okay? You've been experiencing significant endings and losses for a while now, um, Scorpio. You may feel like no matter how good you do in life, it always ends badly. All right. And you, I feel like you were holding on to something with the four of cups trying to avoid an ending. That's why it came out in reverse. But I feel like this month is ending anyways. Look at that. The justice card in reverse. You feel like there's no luck. You feel like there's no balance. You feel like there is no equality. You feel like things aren't fair with the justice card in reverse being at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Someone may feel like you deserve karma for something that you did. Someone could be getting a divorce with the um higher fin card here but things are definitely not going so much in your favor okay for, this is either you or someone that you are thinking of things aren't going in your favor okay you do feel blocked you do feel like yeah this is possibly someone that rejected a love offer from you or someone that you rejected a love offer for from and this person was emotionally scarred. Who is that? Um, who is that with that song, Emotionally Scarred? Um, NBA Young Boy, okay. NBA Young Boy. So someone needs to grow up. Or for some of you, your youngest child, especially if it's a boy, needs your attention this month. But even if this is not romantically, okay, you could have gotten to a disagreement or argue with, argument with a friend or a family member, um, and this person is sending you the evil eye, okay? Yeah, I kid you not. The five of wands, the conflict card. You were in conflict with somebody, and this person sent negative energy your way, okay? Somebody went above and beyond, Scorpio, to see you hurt or to see you pay for what you did to them or what they feel like you did to them because i ain't picking sides here okay possibly a leo the five of um wands is a leo card possibly a leo that you rejected in terms of a love offer okay and even if this person didn't send you to eva if you truly are guilty if you truly did do something this is just karma coming back yeah the empress card you fuck with an empress for some of y'all okay take it how it resonates for some of y'all, you, you fuck with somebody who was protected, okay, with the Empress card at the bottom of the deck. This person could have Libra highly aspected in their chart. But Libra always, you can't do a Libra wrong because Libra rules justice, okay? And Libra is always going to balance the scales sooner or later, all right? So someone's experiencing some extreme karma this month in terms of chaos, blockages, and financial problems, okay? It. Yeah, I can't make this up. Look what card fell out. 
it's going to be a long, dark road, Scorpio. All right. You're going into isolation. All right. You're going into solitude. Okay. Someone's going into solitary confinement. Someone's going to prison. All right. Two of swords here. Libra energy yet again. So if that's not confirmation, Queen of Wands here. Uh, Leo energy again. Okay. Fire sign energy. But someone's going into solitude. Someone could be going to jail. Someone could be going into solitary confinement, okay? Because, because of some type of fight, argument, conflict, or someone, or something like that. Someone had a choice to make with the two of swords here, and they chose based on material things, okay? Queen of Wands here. Someone fucked with somebody that was highly ranked, okay? Someone in this situation is a very strong and powerful person, both in the physical and the spirit. All right. Ace of Cups in reverse here. Somebody didn't get a new beginning with someone because of the games that they played. Yeah. Clarity. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Someone is seeing things for what they are. Okay. Someone is seeing their decision making and their choices for what they are. Someone can't believe they made the choice that they made, okay? Look at that. Flipped over the Wheel of Fortune. Fate. Whatever happens this month is fate. Look at that. Leo coming up again at the bottom of the deck, the strength card. You're going to need it, Scorpio, or whoever chose to fuck with you is going to need it, okay? Yeah, look. Ace, eight of Swords here. Making blind decisions. Making decisions based off of illusions, okay? Think before you act. Scorpio is what I would say. Look, you're, yeah, that's it. I ain't getting no more. It's just repeating itself. The um, Ten of Cups in reverse. This ain't going to be a, a month that's too good for you, okay? Ten of Cups in reverse is unhappiness. <laughs> Not in a happy home. Yeah, look, because somebody was unfaithful. I told y'all, for some of y'all, this has something to do with somebody who cheated on you or you cheated on somebody and you caused a lot of pain or somebody cheated on you and they caused a lot of pain and there is karma to pay for whoever was the one who caused a lot of pain, okay? Somebody mind is set on revenge, okay? Or if there's a third party involved, the third party, you know, sent some bad energy. But take it how it resonates. Somebody doesn't want you happy and somebody is experiencing a lot of unhappiness because of a choice that, that they made that ended up hurting somebody else. You got the panic room card. Don't panic now. Either you or your person. Don't panic now. Eight women. Someone could have just been talking to multiple people, okay? And you, someone could have hurt multiple people. So it may not even be one person. It may be the fact that you or someone else hurt so many people that that karma done caught up to you. Karma always catches up with everybody eventually. Yeah, you weren't that good of a role model. Let's see what these, I'm gonna uh, pull five clarifiers. Let's see what the clarifiers have to say. Someone's definitely wanting karma and someone's getting it, okay? Wow. Wow, someone is definitely going to jail or prison. Someone is going to get into a conflict with somebody and something going to go wrong, okay? You see what the cards say. For some of you, this is a mer uh, um, metaphor. Someone killed your ego or you killed someone else's ego, okay? And for some of you, you, you murdered someone's spirit or vice versa. You hurt someone so bad that it changed. This person will never be the same. Or someone hurt you so bad that you'll never be the same. Okay? But there was some deaths here. Spiritual deaths, ego death, physical death. Wow. Confirmation 333. Three, three. Spirit is saying that's the truth. Yeah, you got the fan card because you was too busy focusing. Or they was too busy focusing on all the attention that they was getting. Wow. You have, they have work to do. Yeah, and they're going to be able to sit with themselves right behind bars and do all the work that they have to do. You have the destiny card. Really, my best friend, you'll always have my heart. Okay, yeah, somebody was really in love. Yeah, and for some of you, this is karma for being a horrible parent. Okay, someone just... Don't show up for their kids like they need to. Well, you got murder. You got surgery. Okay, I'm going to pull more and more. 
and you got Dixon, okay? So take that how it resonates, uh, Scorpio's peace.